I'm working with Keynote 9.1 and iMovie 10.1 on an iMac running High Sierra. I'm going to make an animated title using Keynote that I can then use in iMovie. We'll start by opening Keynote and selecting the standard wide theme with a black background. Delete the default text boxes. Resize the slides so that we can see everything we're working with. Select text and type in the title or text that we want to overlay in iMovie. Resize this to take up as much of the slide as we can. We will be able to resize it again in iMovie. Also, we can change the colour and the font. Click on the text to select it. Select Animate and then Build In. Add an effect. I'm going to use Fade and Scale. Two and a half seconds duration, fading in from 70% to full size. Now click on Build Out and select another effect if we want. I'll choose Confetti. Now we go to Build Order. On the first part, I'll select After Transition. For part two, I'll select After Build One and have a delay of two seconds. We can preview that and see that part one builds and then part two happens after a delay of two seconds. Now we need to make the background transparent. We click on the background to select it and then select Format. Go to the drop down menu and select No Fill. We can now go to Export To and select Movie. I'll set both timings to zero. More importantly, with resolution, it's important we select Custom. The only way we'll get a transparent background is if we select Apple ProRes and export with transparent backgrounds. I'll export it to the desktop for now and call it Keynote Title. I haven't saved the file in Keynote, but I could if it's important. I'll now go to the movie I'm using in iMovie. Go to File, Import Media and import the file named Keynote Title. I can now drag our Keynote Title file to the area just above the timeline. If we press play, we can see that the title comes up in the centre of the screen. However, if we select the Keynote title and change the video overlay setting from cutaway to picture-in-picture, picture, we can then resize it and put it wherever we want in the video.